Hello and welcome back to the channel. Right, so this video is it's a bit of a strange one to be honest. It's just a one-off video. Hopefully it won't be too long. Uh, but the reason I'm doing this video is because a lot of people have been asking me um, what mods I use and if I can do a, a mod list just so people can obviously see if they can find any mods that I use and uh, if they want them to. And just obviously they're probably curious what mods I've got. Um, so hopefully this video is going to help and show you that and it's a lot easier than me writing down, well, I think it's over a thousand anyway, it's over 1500 mods that I've got in my mod folder. I know some people might be thinking, how can you run that many mods? But I have got quite a powerful system and it does work. I don't get many conflicts at all. Um, and a lot of the maps that I play on, as you probably can see in my videos, you know, they run fine. I don't have issues. Sometimes I get a mod conflict. And if I do, I obviously figure out which mod it is and I remove it. Uh, so... I'm not, I'm not advising anyone to go out and get this many mods in, in your game. If you do that, that's fine. But make sure you do know that you can obviously raise uh, the risk of having issues with the mod conflicts. So the reason I'm going to be doing this in a video is basically because I had a comment off Dylan Ryder and all full credit has to go to him. He basically gave me the idea and said, you know, if it takes too much time to to write up like a mod list, can you do it in a video and scroll through at the end of end of one of your episodes. And I thought it was such a good idea and, and it gave me an opportunity as well to go through my mods and see if there's anything that's outdated that I don't use. I can write it down. I've got a, a notepad and a piece of pen in front of me so I can obviously write it down and I can take it out because I know there's probably something there that I don't use at all, but it's just because I've got so many, it's become quite a chore that I've been putting off. Uh, but by doing this video as well at the same time, I can obviously show you what mods I've got. Um, and, and if you if you see anything you like, obviously it's up to you to go in, uh, search it through Google, whatever you want to do, and you can pretty much just see for yourself what it is. Right, so obviously I'm just going to pick a random map. You can see how many maps I've got. They've, they come off the screen. I've got that many maps in here that, yeah, there's a lot. Right, so obviously it's selected all the mods. These are all my mods. A lot of these are vehicles at the top. Um, I'm going to have to go through these pretty quick. Um, if you see something you like, I suggest searching it. Um, there's a lot of vehicles. This is third person. Don't use that much, to be honest. So I could write that down. Um, I did use that in my role play, um, just for to get like um, if you if you were doing a role play series, third person mod is pretty good if you want to get like a cinematic shot where you're looking at an actual character um, outside a vehicle or whatever else. It's pretty good for that. Um, a lot of the diggers that I used as well on on my uh, role play video when I was doing the part where I was building up my house, I kind of used uh, some placeables for the like the workmen that was standing around as the house was being built up they were placeables i do edit the map as well sometimes so sometimes i'll find an object in in a map i'll, I'll like extract it turn it into a mod itself modify it put it back into the map but obviously that's a little bit more in depth than just getting a mod for example like that and putting it on the map which i did um so yeah i'll scroll through because there is quite a lot um and i'll try and yeah it's going to be difficult for me to say what each one is and where to find it. You're going to have to just look at the names, see if you like anything. A lot of them are quite modern, like that one came out not long ago. Um, some of them are DLCs. Some of them are part of maps as well. Some uh, big American maps that I've got, they do come in with some quite um, added, like some required mods that you need to get. Some of them like this one, Animal Hub for Seasons mod. I don't really use that at all, so I'm going to make a note of that one. But yeah, it's definitely over overdue, this is. Anti-roll bales, I would highly recommend that. It's a really good mod. That basically, um, when you when it comes out the uh, back of the baler, it just stops it from rolling down a hill. It really is good. It's, good. it's a must-have. Um, see if we can find any more. Some of them are like really... A lot of them are quite a lot of placeables. It's a, a bakery that I was going to put into the roll plate at some point, but that never came around. I kind of went in a different path. Um a lot of them, you might say, well, obviously these are all selected. I would never play with every single one selected because there would be some conflicts. Um, but yeah, you're going to have to find that out as you go along. A lot of cars like BMWs, some of them are obviously for the role play series. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I don't really need because you can see I'm going through them, but there is a there is a fair amount in here. I don't really use that a lot, so I'm going to get more of that down. I didn't find that the quads, and I think this is a really old one now. It's one of the first mods I got. Um, yeah, the quads itself, don't find that they work very well. The canola straw was pretty good before, obviously, straw me came out. That mod basically allows you to just get straw from canola. Um, 
but I don't really need that anymore. A lot of these caravans are like custom homes and stuff, which um, I've used one in my survival series that I've done recently. A lot of case tractors. Sometimes you'll see as well that I might have the same model, but made by a different modder. Uh, that's because they obviously different in itself like there's a small feature might might have like an inboard um, computer that works and this a lot of them have that nowadays and the interactive controls and all stuff like that cattle breeds i can get rid of that now change motor scripts that's pretty good but i've never actually got the hang of that yet so change motor sound sorry not scripts uh, so that's something i can look into maybe learning a bit more i might make a note of that all right so I keep scrolling down now a lot of case and class Contractor mod, pretty good, but um, don't really use it much, I'll be honest. But I'll keep it in. That's a good one. Crow sound fix. So I don't know when this video is actually going to come out. I have just spent, spent the whole of the day before I've recorded this making a big video um about 25 realistic mods and it took me a long time to edit but also record and find out all the information but hopefully that video will be really helpful for everyone that wants any realistic mods so i'm going through these now that, that there's i used as well for my role play same as this one this one i got in a in a and that these three i know not that one this one and this one i got from um, i think farm king as well from a us map so you need to keep that in mind. Obviously, sometimes you might activate these by mistake. So when you do start a new, like for me, for example, when I start a new um, Let's Play or a new map, I have to really take my time. It takes me about at least half an hour just to set the map up with the right mods. So a lot of fence stuff now, a lot of fence tractors. I'm trying to scroll through at reasonable um, speed. Uh, a little bit of a... A little bit of a heads up. This one's going to be in my survival. I've actually put it into the next episode. I've already recorded it. Um, it's really good, that is. Honestly, if you're doing a survival or even a role play, this is absolutely perfect. But if you wait for episode three of my survival, you'll see that in more detail. So we're coming up with a lot of uh, trailer stuff here. Follow me. You have to have that. Force rollover is pretty good. If you tip your tractor by accident, hold F9, that'll pick it back up. Um, some four tractors. These are really good old machinery. I find this mod here is actually really good for uh, sugar beets. Dead, really affordable. Um, I think it's only around 30,000 and it does the whole harvesting of um, sugar beets. So that's pretty good as well. I can also do potatoes. This one's good. This one, this farm supply, that's uh, basically different types of pallets that I've used. So you might get some seeds, some TMR. It's, it's pretty good. This one's obviously just for show. I've actually never used it. I've got it. So I might actually get rid of that because it's pretty pointless, actually. Just clean it up a little bit. Giant's cup in red and black. Uh, then obviously a lot of global mod stuff, uh, global company, sorry, their mods coming up. This one here, this one here, I used that as soon as I started playing. Before I did videos, before um, you had these development mod. This was the only way for, when I started off to actually give myself more money. When I was pretty much brand new to FS19, when I first started playing it, uh, this one. So I never use that anymore, so I can get rid of that now. Because obviously, if you need to add money for anything like setting up farms, adding it to your role play to obviously get machinery that you need for maybe the story or anything like that. Um, you don't need that anymore, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Grass mowing, I think I can get rid of that because I've got a, a different version of that that works even better. Which is the real mower. Some DLCs, Wopsters GPS. I can get rid of that now because that doesn't need to be in there anymore. Hood, smart shade, it isn't actually pretty smart to be honest. Uh, Happy Farm is good for role playing as well. If you've got like a, a neighboring farm and you want them to look after it, uh, but you obviously don't have to feed them. Yes, you'll see the money dip, but if you can modify that as you're recording it and editing it, you'll notice that you can uh, keep it from obviously being shown on the video. Uh, so that's that's good if you're doing a role play. This mod here can go. That actually used to give me super strength before 
I used to, before I figured out that you could obviously do the commands originally, and then now obviously you can do it through uh, the easy development mod. So we can get rid of that one. These are, like I said, these are really old, some of these. Not sure what that JCB is. A lot of John Deere stuff now. So I advise if you see for it anything like that you see, and, and I'm going too quick, just pause the video. Um, I think it's the only way I'm going to be able to do this with because I can't write all these down. I really can't. But it at least gives you an idea of what I'm running with on my system um, and how I'm going about you know, figuring out what I'm using and what I'm not. These came from Hoff Bergman. So them two are in Hoff Bergman. I think that one's on its own, though. You can actually get that. Um, but I think one of the, what, it's one of these that it's in, you get with Hoff Bergman map. The other one, I think, is actually on model, and I think it's that one. Pink Land Rover, as you do. So I'm just looking at this one thinking, I, should I get rid of that one? But I think I do need it for Hoff Bergman. So I can't get rid of that one. Lumberjack mod, need that. Some trucks now, some man lorries. This milk truck, I do like this one, I'll be honest. This one I tried. I don't think it works that well, so I'm going to remove that. I'd rather do it in the Giants editor, to be honest. I tried to uh, see if it was just a little bit easier, uh, a little bit quicker if you see something that you want to get rid of, but it kind of just doesn't work very well. You, you, you can only remove so many objects, and the ones I found that I did want to remove, and use, you obviously use it as an advantage by making it quicker for me, it just didn't remove them anyway, so I'm going to get rid of that one. So we can get rid of that one now as well. That was another one where it first started off. That's dead old. The money mod. Don't need now. On, on most of these mods like that, we don't need them anymore. With the, the easy development mod, it just made it so much more simple. It was all in one area. And obviously the easy development mod was basically what you had to do with the commands anyway. So, But you had to go into the settings of the game to change it. So you could do that first with the commands and then... Remembering the commands and putting them in, the easy development mod has just made that so much more simpler now. Right, so that motorcycle as well, I can get rid of that because I did try that and I found that it was really, uh, it was quite flawed, to be honest. The uh, motorcycle just kept falling over. So, we can get rid of that one. I've actually got quite a few now on this list that I can get rid of. All thanks to um, Dylan Ryder, this is. So thank him in the comments. For this idea, if you've been wanting me to do um, like a list of my mods, uh, so you can see what I use, well, because of Dylan Ryder coming up with this idea, which I don't know why I didn't think of it before really, but it has made it a lot easier for me. I can just go through my mod list, you can see what you want, um, and then obviously you can have a search for it. This one here, no crosshair. If you're doing a roleplay series, I highly recommend this. Um, if you know, in the middle of this, like the screen when you're obviously playing, you'll have the circle or a hand, depends what you're looking at really, it disappears completely, and if you want to obviously make it more realistic, then you can just get rid of that, but also keep your like your hood down at the bottom. This will just get rid of the, the icon in the middle, so the, the crosshair basically. Um, it's really good for that. There's definitely some old tractors in here. Packs, I think they are signs, some of these are signs that I've been using. Photo mode's pretty good when you put it into pause. Uh, so if you pause the actual game in-game from the menus, I think you get to one menu and it's like at the bottom corner, you press pause game. You can now go back and, and, and actually move around and take a photo or something. Place anywhere, I actually use that. I prefer that than using the global company. Um, I think it's, there's an extension in there when you open up the global company menu. It's got the same features, but I prefer this one, I'll be honest. Even though it comes up every time I start saying it's not compatible, 
I prefer this one. It makes it easier. And also I find it, it does actually let you place anywhere, whereas the global company one, it still restricts some of it. And I've not had any issues. So do I need to get rid of any of these? Play a camera, I can get rid of that actually. Don't need that anymore. And obviously this is excluding all the maps that I've got. So remember the maps don't show up in here. They'll only be um, in my actual mod folder, but any map that you see me play, you'll know what it is anyway. It's, it's usually in the title. Progressive steering is pretty good. I suggest checking that out. There's a real mower. That's a much better version. Another good route package these are this one here really good if you want to if you've not got much money but you want to do some root crops that's really good it's kind of small because let's be honest the sugar beet equipment standard stuff is just really really expensive sim dashboard you need that if you want to be using sim dashboard sim track i actually got that never used it didn't appeal to me so i'm going to get rid of that one there we go that's on the list fire engine go for role play got to have a scarecrow even if I don't use it. Some GEOs. Uh, a lot of these GEOs I don't even use anymore because a lot of the maps now come with GEO built in. This one's a good mod, see bales. It means that on the map, when you've done some baling, you can actually see all the individual bales that are on the map. So if you look at the map in the menu, um, yeah, you can see which one, where all the bales are in the field. So if you know you've... It, it's good if you think you might have missed one, you don't know where you've missed it. It might be in a hedge. It'll show it up on the map. Shop opening hours. Now that one... I did think it was pretty good, but I don't actually find it useful at all. So it basically restricts you from buying any equipment um, at night time or basically it's more realistic in, in the hours. But I don't really find myself buying anything at night. But it also, let's say it's early morning before 8 and you want to put a placeable down. You can't do it until the shop opens. So I found it a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a restriction, to be honest. Stockman, that's something I do want to try. That does change the the HUD and uh, some of the information it go, uh, gives you about animals as well. You get like the symbols of the animals you've got, uh, the color coded. So if the, the, you need they need attention, they go red, green if they're well fed, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I do need to look into that because I was yeah interested about learning a bit more about that. Tesco, you've got to have a Tesco. This, this uh, mod's really cool as well. Vehicle speed sync. Basically what this mod does is when you're running up against a, a harvester, say you've got a harvester on course play, uh, going around a field, doing some harvesting, um, you can automatically just go up to the harvester in your tractor and trailer and you press a certain button and it will automatically sync to the same speed as what the uh, harvester's doing. So it makes it a lot easier. Right, so that's it. Actually, a lot quicker than what I thought it would be. Um, and I've got a good list of here that I need to clean up, so I will take them out. But hopefully, like I said, it's um, if you see anything you want, just stop it and have a look for yourself. But there is a lot of mods. I know I've got about... Well, last time I looked, it was a 1,000 something. So, yeah, a lot easier to do that than obviously... Um, putting in an, an, a big list or something and then putting it somewhere. And I don't even think I could write all that down in the description of a video, to be honest. So I'm glad I've done that. So anyway, I hope this has helped anyone that's been wanting to know what mods I use and what mods I've got in my game. Um, like I said, if you see anything you like, just search it in Google. It should come up, should pop up. And remember that I use Mod Hub and King Mods, and hopefully you'll find what you're looking for there. Right, so thanks for watching. Give the th video a thumbs up if it has helped you, and I'll see you in the next one.